Okay, so we're going to start with the easiest of the easy. Uh, if you're just hopping in in the middle of this tutorial, uh, you're going to want to click the screen right now to take you back to the beginning. This is a three-part tutorial on how to make a website. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with uh, Weebly.com. That's W-E-E-B-L-Y.com. Uh, it's a very nice looking website and uh, you're quickly going to be able to make something that looks just like this. Um, it uh, is very fast. You could probably set up a website in under a minute and you don't have to have any kind of coding. It's purely drag and drop. So uh, go ahead and sign up, activate it from your email, and when you log in for the first time like this, uh, it'll bring up uh, you know inner title for your website. So we'll type derp and then we'll make it a wedding site. That's always fun. Um, use subdomain unless you want to pay for a domain. Um, so we're going to go ahead and type um, derp, derp, oh man, one. There we go. All right. Hit continue. Derp, derp, one dot weebly dot com. Now belongs to me. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see if that set it up correctly. Hopefully it did. Apparently not. Okay. Derp. Save title. Okay, gotta go through this again. Derp, derp one. Okay, that is mine. Alright, so here's the site uh, design. As you can see, there is a pro version and a non pro version. The difference is that the uh, pro version will not have any kind of uh, markings on it, meaning that it uh, people won't know that it belongs to Weebly. If you're using a subdomain, obviously it'll not be your own domain name, but it will be a domain name and it's free. Um, they don't have some of the kind of things like uh, site password and fab icon or however you want to say it, which is basically it changes this little icon right up there. Uh, but if you want the pro version, you can go ahead and pay for that. But this is just the free version that most people use when using this site. So uh, we'll go ahead and select a theme. We'll go to the design tabs, and as you can see, there are tons and tons of really cool themes. And uh, what's cool about this site is if you click on a theme, it automatically translates your site into that theme. So you don't have to do any recoding or anything. It does it all for you. Let's go ahead and use this one here. So that's all pretty. Um, all right. So let's make some text. Paragraph with title. You just drag and drop it right onto the site. We'll type, welcome to Derp. Okay. And we'll type, um, www.effects. Dude79.com, and we'll go ahead and make that a link to a website. Effectsdude79.com. All right. So now we have a nice looking website. Uh, if you want to add a new page, you can go to uh, Pages, Add New Page. We'll type uh, about derp. All right. So now we have two pages. You can go ahead and change the uh, photos to whatever you want. Say we want to upload a new photo, we just click, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hit add photo. Actually, I have a better idea. We'll do it from image URL. Go to Google Images. And derp. Oh, that's appropriate. All right, we'll use this, even though it's probably incredibly undersized. Uh, we'll put it up there anyways. Oh, funny junk. Okay. I didn't want that. Full size image. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll save this. Actually, we don't even need the copy image URL. Go back to our website. Insert. Oh, man. Alright, we're going to have to find another photo. That's dis oh. uh Okay. That works. Copy image URL and just paste. Oops, paste it in there. <laughs> oh, what? What? None of these are even images. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a JPEG. That's nice. We don't need to save it. Paste that in there and. There we go. Does that look great? All right, so you may be seeing a little bit of shadow there. That just means it won't be included in the image. So we'll just set this like this. And 
Yep, that looks good. All right. So now that's what our website looks like. So as you can see, it's very customizable. You could either go all pages. Um, you can either change. You can even change the name on the top. We'll type uh, w w. I can't even type today. W w derp dot weebly dot com. I don't know why that's capitalized, but what? I don't want that there. Oh well, whatever. Um, so this is a very nice. You can insert uh, HTML uh, videos, really whatever you want. You can make. Uh, you can host downloads and stuff like that. It's a really nice, easy, basic site creator that uh, I used to use for a while before I actually realized that uh, I could do my own stuff. So as you can see, we'll just drag and drop some more stuff on here. Let's say we want to add picture because we don't have enough photos here. And we'll enter this again. All right, so pictures and then maybe we'll have some text to go along with it. We'll say that's probably not the most efficient way of doing that. All right. All right. So, now we have a very professional website that you would want to put in your portfolio and show to everybody that you know. Um, so, that's the basic, basic way of creating a website. There is no um, uh, SSHing or FTP into the website. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Uh, if you do want to know what it means, go ahead and skip to the advanced tutorial. You can see the medium and advanced on screen right now, so this is just the easiest way. By the way, you can hit publish, and that'll publish it. So now if we go to derpderp1.weebly.com, we get our nice site here. And so you can send that to all your friends. And uh yeah, they probably think you're you're crazy. Um but yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed that video and now we're gonna go ahead and move on. And uh if you want to click medium or advanced, you can go ahead and do so. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.